guys, how's it going? This is Amanda from Amanda Around the Globe. Today is day six of the money saving series. I'm so excited that you guys are joining me for this video. I would really love to hear in the comments below how you guys are doing so far. Okay, today we're talking about how to use your credit cards to get free stuff. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I am a massive travel hacker. I use credit cards to get a lot of free things, including flights and hotel stays. There are so many other things that you can do with credit cards aside from that, but because I travel full time, I use my credit cards basically just for travel related things. You can also use your credit cards to get discounts on things. You can get gift cards to your favorite stores like Amazon or Sephora. You guys can get cash back from your credit cards. There's so, so many things that credit cards can give you. If you use them responsibly, it will really pay off for you. I first want to address in this video, if you guys have a history of debt or if you are don't feel financially responsible to be able to pay off your credit card every month then I would not use this tactic if you guys currently have credit card debt I would not use this tactic you want to use these tricks when you have no debt when your debts paid off and when you can pay your account in full every month so yeah let's just get into it what I do is I sign up for a credit card and I get the bonus points the bonus points are the most valuable tool of your credit card so if you're gonna sign up and not plan to get the bonus points there's really no point in doing this only sign up when you know you can get the bonus points and you get the bonus points by spending a certain amount in the first few months of opening the credit card so every credit card has a different sign up bonus the chase sapphire preferred which is my personal favorite has a sign up bonus of 50,000 points I think when you spend $4,000 in the first three months now that may sound like a lot but if you're putting everything onto your credit card it's actually not that difficult now when I opened this credit card I was living at home I was saving to travel and I thought like how am I gonna spend that much money in three months but I actually ended up putting a lot of things that I needed to buy for travel onto that card that I was already planning on buying. So make sure the things that you're doing are things that you're already planning on buying. So I bought my laptop and my camera, which added up to almost $4,000 right there. And then I also paid for every everyday item on there. My parents knew what I was doing and they also allowed me to put some of their expenses onto my credit card. I prepaid my car insurance. Like I did everything I could to spend money only on things that I was already planning on buying, but also things that would get me to that, the sign up bonus. And I got the sign up bonus of 50,000 points actually gave me enough miles to fly round trip from San Francisco to Copenhagen and also two one-way tickets from San Francisco to Nicaragua for me and my sister. So it's really, really worth it to use travel hacking. Basically, I did nothing other than go through one extra step with my finances, like put everything on my credit card and then automatically pay off my credit card every month. I even had automatic payments set up and I still do so that my credit card just gets paid in full every month. I don't even have to think about it. As long as I know that I'm not paying more than I can afford, then I have absolutely no worries about it. Like it's so, so easy and I'm just getting points all the time. Another way that you can get points is by referring people. So heads up, the link in my description box is an affiliate link so I actually get some points when you guys sign up through that link it's really helpful to me it's if you guys are planning on getting that card it's like really a way a good way to support me if you feel like doing that if you don't want to do that that's fine too if you guys get this card you can also give your friends your link and get them to sign up through that and then you can get some bonus points for that they do have a cap on it and they only give you a certain amount per year, but it's still like, they'll give you a decent amount per year. I think they cap you off at 50,000 points per year, which is still enough. So another way to get a lot of points is by buying things that you would already buy. Key point is that you're only buying things that you're already planning on buying. You're not buying things just to get more points because that's also counterintuitive. You're just spending money that you don't need to be spending. If you're planning on buying something, you want to shop through your credit cards site. So just go to your credit card, go to for Chase, they have the ultimate rewards. So you can go sign into your credit card on chase.com, go to the ultimate rewards section, and they'll give you extra points for shopping through their website. I do really like the Chase Sapphire Preferred. 
and the regular Chase Sapphire card. The Chase Sapphire Preferred does have a $99 annual fee, but they waive it for the first year. And so if you get it and you don't plan on keeping it after the first year, just make sure you cancel it. So I'm gonna leave some links down below on information that I learned about travel hacking. I also have a lot more information about travel hacking in my ebook, which is always linked in my videos down below. And yeah, I hope this video wasn't too long, but also I hope it was really informative. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.